All right, hanging out at Magni Barbell, Iowa City, Iowa. Uh, Friday morning, getting ready to train here. Um, just ramping up my uh, um, cycle for next spring's Arnold Classic. We're just in the volume phase, really, really early on. Uh, we're still about 21 weeks out, so we got a long way to go. But um, just want to answer a couple questions here uh, for Team HMB fans. Um, and the first one is, how did I initially get into powerlifting? Well, um, I played, um, you know, sports all throughout. Um, my childhood and out through college, played college football at a small college in Wisconsin. And, um, you know, part of competing in sports is just feeding that competitive desire. And when I got done playing college football, um, that competitive desire didn't die away. And so um, I started out working as a strength coach for football at the University of Iowa. And Chris Doyle, um, their head strength coach, got me into strongman. So I actually did strongman for 10 years. Um, did about Oh, 25 to 30 amateur contests. And if you're like me, when you get into competitive sports, one of the reasons you do it is to reach the top in that sport, right? Um, to be the best um, in, in a given sport. Um, and although I got up to, I think it was somewhere around fourth in the country as an amateur, um, you gotta finish first to turn pro. Um, and I was never able to do that. And one of the reasons that frustrated me um, is that there's no drug testing in strongman, and, and that really frustrated me. And so, um, just to seek maybe a more level playing field, I ran into Brad Gillingham at a strength and conditioning conference one time, um, and you know we were just kind of talking, and he said, "Well, he said you got a pretty good deadlift. He said, why don't you try to qualify for the pro deadlift at the Arnold Classic?" And I thought, "Wow!" I thought, you know, the Arnold Classic. I mean, that's as big as it gets for a deadlift only contest, you know? And so um, I sort of dropped strongman, uh, put all my eggs into one basket, so to speak, and I signed up for um, USAPL Deadlift National Championships in 2009. Pulled 771, um, it was good enough to qualify me for the Arnold, um, and I got invited to the Arnold the next year, was ecstatic about that, and uh, yeah, they've been competing in, in powerlifting, really deadlift only ever since then. So that's the story of how I got started. What do I like most about powerlifting? Um, that's hard to give one answer to, right? I mean, I, I answered in the previous question. I mean, part of it is feeding that competitive desire, right? It, it's delivering your best performance when your best performance is required. But it's also everything that leads up to that point. I love the training process. I love pushing my body beyond previously known limits, right? Um, I love the discipline that goes into it, the sense of urgency, the intensity, all that. All that being said, um, if I have to narrow it down to one thing, it's always the people. That's what it was in Strongman and that's what it is in powerlifting. If you ever have competed in a strength sport, one of the first things you'll notice is that it's a brotherhood and it's a sisterhood. Um, you know, I, I remember times in Strongman where um, you know, there'd be three or four guys lined up for one event, say the farmer's walking. You know, two guys would finish and two guys would still be going. And those two guys that finish would go and cheer on their own competitors, the other guys that were still going in that event. Um, it's fun talking shop um, at contests. It's fun competing with your friends at contests too. So I would say it's the people. There, there's so many good people um, involved in, in powerlifting. You know, are there any um, numbers I want to hit or PRs I want to hit? Well. Any of you would have been following me um, in the least, you will know that um, I've come up this close to deadlifting 800. Um, and deadlifting 800 is sort of, um, I don't know, it, it's just a next level when it comes to deadlifting. It's, it's world class. Um, and so, yeah, that, that would be a, the quest for, for 800 four pound deadlift. Um, in the USAPL, we do things in kilograms, and so um, it's either 799 or it's 804, and I don't want 799. Um, I want that 804, which is 365 kilograms. So um, we've learned from some mistakes in, in past contests and in training, and pretty confident in the phase that um, we've put together for the Arnold Classic next year. Um, like we said, it's a long way out right now. So just going through a volume phase, I'm getting my body in shape to lift those heavier weights down the road. Um, but make no mistake about it, uh, my PR is 793. And I've pulled awfully close to 800 a number of times, but the goal is to pull 804, nothing less than that. Um, so that's the goal of the Arnold Classic. Uh, what's one thing that many people may not know about you? 
And um, this is something my family and friends sure know about me, but those of you, you know, out there in the, in the strength athletics world and powerlifting probably don't know this. Um, for so many years, I was known as that guy who was a strength coach, right? People saw me compete strongly in contests, and they're like, yeah, you coach at fill in the blank. Or they saw me at a powerlifting contest, and they say, you coach at fill in the blank. Man, I was fortunate to coach at the University of Iowa, University of Louisville, and the New York Jets. And I don't do that anymore. And people don't know what I do, and they don't know why I don't coach anymore. Well, here's a brief version of that story. Um, in 2007, I became a Christian um, while at the University of Louisville, and I decided to um, just totally commit my life to Jesus Christ. And one of the things about following Jesus Christ is um, He will change the desires of your heart for the better. Okay. And in 2010, um, my first year at the Jets, um, it just really got to the point where I had been following Jesus Christ and following Him, following Him harder and harder and harder. And the passion in my heart um, to help people know and love Jesus Christ um, sort of outgrew my passion to coach. Um, coaching is not a bad thing, it's a really good thing. Um, but I wanted to dedicate my life full time to helping people follow Jesus Christ. And so I work um, for a church in Iowa City now, Veritas Church, um, and I work mainly for their college ministry. Um, and yeah, just disciple a ton of college students, um, teach, um, taking theology classes, getting my master's in theology, a um, lot of things that go into that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and so um, I resigned from the Jets in January of 2012. After Rex Ryan offered me a boatload of money to stay there, and uh, yeah, and I'm working in full-time ministry right now, so that's something you may not know about me.